Welcome. This video will cover all the tools, editors, and utilities inside FL Studio. First, we'll talk about the built-in editors, then we'll work our way through the list and end with special tools that are purpose-built to do one specific thing. As always, if you're curious if your edition of FL Studio comes with a plugin I'm discussing, there will be info text in the lower screen. All right, let's get to it. We'll start with probably the most important one, Edison. Edison is a fully integrated audio editing and recording tool. You can load it from the channel rack or in a mixer effects slot where you can record audio coming into the mixer track. Let's record a bass guitar. Let's boost the level with a normalize icon. My bass is noisy and I can denoise it in Edison too. Edison also auto slices and it has a built in equalizer. Great, next up is New Time. New Time is an audio quantizing and time manipulation editor. It uses markers to specify the regions to warp and quantize. To quantize, go to the edit menu and click quantize time. The groove knob allows you to add swing to audio also. New Tone is a pitch correction and time manipulation editor. Slice, warp, correct, edit vocals, instrumentals and other recordings. I promise I'll get better at singing. Oh boy, I sure hope so. Use the center control to snap notes to the nearest real pitch and turn down the variation control to flatten out the pitch curve. I promise I'll get better at singing. You can also completely repitch vocals by dragging the segments. Singing. Patcher loads as an instrument or effect and allows you to chain both instruments and effects into complete units for reuse in other projects. Set up your favorite instrument and effects chain, for example. You can also use it to add unlimited effects or instruments in a single channel or effect slot. Inside of Patcher, you have access to voice effect or VFX plugins. A voice is the note and control data associated with the piano roll. It includes five parameters, velocity, fine pitch, release, mod X, and Y. VFX plugins allow you to directly manipulate these parameters for creative effects. VFX level scaler is used in Patcher to scale note properties as received from the piano roll. It's a live version of the level scale tool. When VFX Color Mapper is used in Patcher, up to 16 different instruments may be controlled from the 16 note colors of the piano roll. VFX Keyboard Splitter is used in Patcher to split the piano roll or keyboard zones into 16 separate outputs. This means you could play up to 16 instruments depending on note range, for example. When VFX Key Mapper is used in Patcher, note input can be transposed, key changed, corded, or creatively remapped. The plugin shows note inputs on the vertical axis and corresponding note outputs on the horizontal axis. That is, a note input to output matrix. VFX Envelope works with FL Studio native format plugins, Flex, Harmo, Citrus, etc and is used in Patcher to apply note-triggered envelopes or LFOs to note properties. Velocity, pitch and pan, mod X and Y, automating native plugins X and Y controls. The layer channel's purpose is to use one layer channel piano roll to play as many instruments as you want to layer under it. Layering instruments creates rich crossfade morphing soundscapes in seconds Layer is also helpful for instruments that don't work in Patcher, like 3x oscillator and the sampler channel. MIDI 
readout does not make any sound of its own, as it acts as a MIDI controller sending standard MIDI messages to internal VSTs or external MIDI synthesizers and drum machines for example. There's 8 pages times 9 controllers freely assignable to parameters on target VST and MIDI devices. Automation clips move link controls on the FL Studio interface or plugins. They are one of the most important tools in FL Studio. Automation clip data displays in the playlist window as a line graph. Fruity Envelope Controller triggers automation envelopes from piano roll notes. There's a set of 8 independent envelopes, each with a ton of further modulation controls. It's very helpful for building note-triggered sidechain pumping solutions. Fruity Keyboard Controller can output a single control value for each note you send it. It can further modulate changes in values using the attack and release sliders. Fruity Formula Controller lets you type in mathematical formulas and use the outputs as control data. You can make LFOs, mapping curves and combinations of both. Why didn't my maths teacher tell me about this? Otherwise I would have paid more attention in algebra classes. Fruity Peak Controller generates control data based on the peaks in incoming audio. It also includes its own internal LFO generator. Fruity XY Controller turns mouse movement into control data. Use your mouse or gaming controller to generate two smooth controller inputs. Fruity XYZ Controller Control three parameters simultaneously with your mouse and use graph-based macro mapping. Z, the depth, is mouse wheel by default. Control Surface allows you to create your own user interfaces to link and control plugins. You can choose from hundreds of built-in design elements or make your own using Control Creator. ZGame Editor Visualizer is a visualization effect plugin that can also create videos for YouTube, for example. You can add up to 50 generated image or video layers. The leftmost layer will be the lowest layer in the stack and the rightmost the top. Fruity Video Player. Use Video Player to score videos. It plays video files in sync with FL Studio's playlist. There's SMPT display to show frame numbers too. Fruity dB meter is a large display peak meter in a decibel format. Any signal above minus 6 dB is displayed in orange. Hold the mouse cursor over the display to see the decibel level. Right-click it to reset the peak holds. Wave Candy is a flexible audio analysis and visualization tool which includes an oscilloscope to visualize the waveforms in your audio, spectrum analyzer to display frequencies over time in your audio, peak meter to check those audio levels, and finally, vectorscope. to analyze stereo spread and phase. The display type 
colors, frequency range, and dynamic range are all fully customizable. Fruity Big Clock allows you to put bar and clock information on a big screen when working in a studio, for example. Or, and please, for the love of all that is good, don't do this for those who don't have the regular one in the menu bar. Fruity Spectrum Man is a spectrum analyzer plugin. Insert Spectrum Man into the mixer track you wish to produce a spectrograph from. The louder the frequency, the higher the line will peak. Fruity Dance is an animation plugin. The default animation is FL Chan, the FL Studio mascot. You can control her dance movements from the piano roll by selecting a range of programmed dance moves. Great if you need to test your track out on a crowd in the club. Fruity Stereo Shaper The Stereo Shaper is a multi-purpose stereo manipulation tool, affecting padding and balance. Phase invert one or both channels. Split and or recombine mid and side audio, for example. Fruity Stereo Enhancer allows you to alter the stereo image of the input sound. It can offset and or invert either channel, control stereo width and pan. Fruity Mute 2 is great for automating mutes in an FL Studio mixer chain. It can also be used in combination with the mixer routing to create left and right channel only submixes. Fruity Balance is a stereo balance plugin optimized for real time level automation. Fruity Panomatic is a panning and volume plugin, especially useful for automation of panning and level with its built in LFO. Fruity Phase Inverter inverts the phase of either the left or the right channel. Fruity Center removes DC offsets in real time and is useful for synthesizers which generate DC offsets. That is a constant positive or negative deflection in the output from a plugin. The Fruity Send plugin is a pre-fader send that allows you to extract audio from any point in a mixer channel's effect stack. Fruity Scratcher is a vinyl turntable simulator. It allows you to recreate the sound and feel of scratching a vinyl record. Fruity Voltage Controller Control Voltage is the analog ancestor to MIDI that has been making a comeback in recent years. That is, it's a form of control data for external synthesizers and drum machines. Normally, you would use an instance of voltage controller for each voice module in your setup. Fruity Notebook. Make up to 100 notes in your project, sync to the playback position. This is useful for song information, story, lyrics, or personal notes. It supports rich text format data. A 
if you would like to use HTML. Fruity HTML Notebook is an HTML viewer plugin. I guess you could say it's a web browser. It is useful for adding information to a song using the power of HTML. Sharing FL Studio projects? Why not embed your social media pages? There are still some plugins we haven't discussed. Fruity Dashboard and Fruity LSD have both been superseded by newer and better plugins. And with that, we made it. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of all the FL Studio tools and that this video gives you the tools to take your music to the next level.